Okay, Stella's in a mood this morning, and I'm going to overwhelm you guys with videos today because the one went on. It took so long. It's so crazy. The one yesterday morning, it was on like in two hours. Then the one I put on yesterday afternoon, it took like fuck, eight hours or something, and I was not doing anything on my phone. So sometimes, I don't know, I try and figure out like if I need to keep my phone open, if I need to, I don't know. But it doesn't seem consistent in that. Anyways, I did a short this morning to show our weather. It was like, well, it's a good thing I canceled the doctor's appointment. There's no way I could get out of here. I even got a message from the neighbor. And she takes her trash cans all the way back to her house. Mine's all the way out by my fence. So I have to walk out when I ta take the trash out. You know, I have to walk down the driveway and take my trash out. But she's got little kids, you know, so it's just like right there. But now the snow is so deep and tomorrow, today's trash day and um, she's got to wheel it all the way because hers is always full. See, I can skip it easy. Even though I don't have that far to pull, it's like, fuck, I have two bags in there. Like, there's no reason to, you know, it's not that big a deal. So uh, mine can make it easily to the next, um, you know, a couple more weeks till they come again. And, but she's got to wheel hers all the way through the snow. And the snow is deep, man. So deep. And, um, God, Stella loves to play in the snow. It's so cute. She goes out there and runs and jumps and plays in it. And she really likes it. It would have been nice if there was another dog for her to play with. She's so lonely. I know that's one of her big problems. She's so fucking lonely. And, um, but our snow is so fucking deep. And it's definitely going to be there today. It hasn't started raining. It's supposed to start raining. And I don't know. I, I am at this point, with all of the fucking severe weather everywhere, I feel like it's a part of the awakening. I feel like it is. Even my daughter, uh, the one daughter messaged me yesterday, and she's like, I am so sick of this weather. And I thought, this weather has got to be waking people up. they got to be seeing, it, seeing that it is so over the top. Something's going on. And, you know, when you get into that whole conspiracy with the seeding that goes on in the clouds, that that is, um, it creates this stuff. It makes these, and they figured this out like way back in the 40s. They've been doing this all along. So it's part of the awakening for us to see. And that's why everything is so extreme and so absurd. Because the weather, this is not... It, this weather stuff is not the earth. This weather stuff is them. That's what I think. I don't think it's the earth. I think it's part of the awakening. It's just it's, it's just absolutely too extreme. And uh, and it's, it's supposed to get worse in some places too. In the videos, like I can't even believe she got out of Oregon. Like, fuck, that was so lucky. And I, she, I, she called yesterday, you know. And she said, I said, well, how do the chains work? Because that's how they go. And she said they were still slipping even with the chains. I would imagine the chains would get built up with ice. But there's passes you can't even pass. And like I said, that one trucker, he was scared to even move. He's just sitting there for six days in a parking lot in just an ice rink. And then all these different passes that you see, it's huge pileups. We had another one in Washington on the pass, another big pileup. Uh, so it's just these constant pileups with these big trucks that can't, and I just, I feel like it's all done on purpose. I feel like that there's some kind of gel that makes everything really slippery. It's, there's weird shit going on and it's all more with the, you know, to show us that we're in a habitat, that there, we are being controlled. And the girl who does the videos where she shows the sky and then she does these color alterations. So you see, and she's always talking about the uh, the dragons and angels. She's like, there's so much stuff going on in the sky. And she just is like, does these videos all the time. Well, now she's got these ones that uh, she said, these ones trip me out the most. And she goes in and you see up in the clouds, like, like, I don't know what to call it other than just the islands, islands up in the clouds. And you see people walking around and doing stuff. Because it's, it's all realms. That's what I keep on trying to say. Like, And even how we are. How we think we're all on this this plane or something. I, It's weird. Like, yeah, even with their whole thing about how they move the moon and the sun around and stuff. Like everything is to show us that nothing is real. 
Like it's all realms and it's all realities. And we all keep thinking because we're in this 3D thing that that's what's real, but it's not real. And they've got their habitat where we go around, but that's not the only footage I have seen of these other realities that are up in the clouds, you know, because it is just realms and realities. And in the mall, you know, when I had said a couple of weeks ago about that I had seen this young boy that they were claiming it and he was explaining how they made this portal and how they go around and open this portal and they've gone in the forest, they go and do it in different places. And so then they did it at the mall. And so I saw a video of this boy who was talking about he was contacted by these other boys or something and they explained and i don't know the the guy's content like why these one like how they you know came together but so because his kids seemed to know so much stuff like he he was like there are the argons that move through and that they live you know and he's explaining all this stuff and where the when you're opening a portal like that and what comes through but see, everything is like energy. Like there's energy in it. There's like holes in it everywhere. And so it's not holes. It's it's like nothing is solid. Just like if you take a piece of fabric and you hold it up to the light, you can see it's not all just like perfect. You can see like little places, you know? And mm -hmm. it's like that, the fabric of the universe. Like I said, it's like a honeycomb or something. So there's like places to go through, but it's energetic. And so, but using those, these frequency things that you can open a door and then you can go through. And so that's what these boys were doing is opening this door and they were opening this, um, cause they were trying to feed these creatures or something. I don't know. It was a whole thing, but, um, Anyways, it was um, back on that thing about those boys opening that portal on purse. So you think about like there's boys out there who are figuring out how to do portals. They're out there messing with the supernatural stuff, you know. So there's a lot of shit going on, like a lot of stuff. And, you know, and then you still have people that are just, you know, where's happy hour? <laughs> Let's go shopping. Just trying to continue living like life just going on normally. It's like, what, it, what does it take to stop you from, so that you stop and go like, wait a minute, this is weird. Weird shit is going on. And, you know, it's like everybody's got to have the, the realization and, you know, make it your choices. But it's like, there's so many people who aren't making any choices. They're just on autopilot, just out there, just trying to continue it's like, I don't even know if they see stuff. I don't even know if they have awareness of what's going on in the world. You know, I'm, it's weird. But my daughter was sitting there saying this weather is bullshit. And, um, and the, and, and then plus, you know, that's all manufactured in that, that to be a part of what they have to awaken to. And the, um, it's so hilarious. <laughs> like, like this is the kind of stuff that is to wake people up. I, I believe. Uh, so in is it Switzerland or Sweden or something the W E uh, the, that three letter group meets you know that we keep having all this drama about you know that they're out to uh, even though people think we're fighting them right now it's like dude this fight has already been won that's what it's, this is exposing we're in the exposing part uh, and which will move us into the justice part but this shit has already gone down so the um you know, they're, they're meeting for their, you know, to talk about how to do us all in or something and how to control us and contain us or whatever their bullshit nonsense that they all get together. Anyways, in the news though, it said that all escorts, all uh, sex workers are completely booked out. There is no, or they're booked out f fully for that whole time they're there. Like, don't plan on getting an escort while they're in town because they've got them all. They've just, they took them all. <laughs> like, this stuff is to, it's like, like the, the real people, they wouldn't be doing that. They would bring their own and stuff. This is to expose. This is like the white hats, like exposing. This is why I said it's like they're almost taking a piss. Like, it's like making a joke out of it. 
And it's, it's so ridiculous. I mean, that's part of these people's deal is they just steal people and just take them around, you know, like you're their sex slave. <laughs> and if you don't perform, they may just eat you up. <laughs> so you just got to watch out. And these people are psychopaths. That's what we get to learn. But we've already, any of us who are already awakened and questioning things, we've already seen about these people. And, you know, for them to be showing all this stuff, it's all, they're under wraps. You wouldn't be able to, like, all this stuff is always controlled. Even the stuff that is being exposed in the news right now, it's all being controlled. It's, it's being controlled, I think, uh, the other way. Like, some of it is to make the media really look dumb. Like, there's going to be stuff they're going to report on. They're going to have to completely go the other direction. And, like, uh, they're out there trying to make all this big footage, you know, of, I guess I'm sure it was CNN that somebody's making fun of it because they do these set up things. I don't even know if she was by the ice or she took a piece of ice or what, but anyways, they do these set up things and it's starting to be people keep catching them, catching them, but it's like the universe is exposing and exposing it. It's like you can't, they can't do the things they used to do. And, uh, and in Portland and, and Eugene, is, I can't believe how many videos I've seen now. So many. And it is like this one guy, he even had his skis. So he has, he has hands. He's got a pole with his camera on it. So he's filming himself and he's on like a hill in a neighborhood. So there's cars and houses all next to him. And he's got his skis on. He's skiing downhill super fast, filming himself, turning around backwards and all this stuff, you know. It's like, I think it should be more like ice skates. And I was like, fuck, you start going that fast down that ice and then you hit it into a car. Like, even when you're skiing, you hit into a tree and stuff, that can kill you. I was like, man, people get so cocky. They don't. And on ice, you in skis. Like, I don't, like, there's nothing digging into it, dude. You're just sliding across the ice going super fucking fast. Not, I mean, well, even if you put your hands out, that's how I got fucked. When you put your hand out to fall, it breaks your shoulder. So, I don't know. I, I just, like, I always see this wacky stuff. Like, people just lose their minds. But, you know, that's their lessons and stuff. It's just so strange. I was like, fuck, that is so fucking dangerous. You know, um, yeah, it makes great shots and you look like a real cool badass or something going fucking fast as shit down this mental thing. Um, and there was a part where he started, you know, trying to stop and I don't know if he was just testing it or what. It was like, God, oh, that is so dangerous. And trying to stop and you hit and it, it, uh, one little hit thing and you just flip. It's like uh, you, on ice skates, if you're on an ice rink, the ice skates have a blade to cut in, so you have more control. I, I don't, I don't know these people. Like that's like the worst when you go skiing. Like nobody wants to go skiing on ice. You know, it's like oh God, I don't, I don't know. I, I maybe the shot's just so important. They everyone wants to just go viral. They're willing to risk their lives. Who cares? <laughs> Why might go viral? <laughs> it's so wacky, man. People are just so desperate for something like they think that's going to fulfill them they think that's going to make them happy it's like how how is that going to make you consistently happy and and even when these people when they want all these people's attention and they think that's going to be like all oh, these people like me so I must be able to like myself now then it is still yeah but then you have a huge group of people who don't like you then you have more pressure on yourself to confirm to yourself that you're okay. Because you have all these other people who don't like you pointing out what they don't like about you. Because that's just the way it is. You cannot please everybody. You cannot be perfect for everybody. It's impossible. We're not all the same and we're not all meant to be the same. So, I don't know. I think a lot of people, they think like, oh, that's the answer and I'll feel so much better. But then it backfires and then they're like, so it just kicks them in the ass. But like you have all these people who are so worked up about this stuff that I look at it as like, this is uh, so absurd. It's to wake you up. It's to show you. And oh my God, the people that are so caught up in the fucking um, VOTE. Oh my gosh. 
It's like their fucking wet dream or something. It's like, oh my God, and then they're going to be paired and they're going to do this. Look at this. And you know what? Things are going to just get so much better in 2024. And at least there is other people. Like there's a lot more people that are starting to say, when are you guys going to catch on? Like, did you not notice about the cheating yet? Is it like the same, is it the people who the cheating was in their favor? Like, I'm not sure who keeps going out there, but I know it's a lot of these patriots are all excited. Oh, we got you this time. We're going to win this time. There's no more of this bullshit. It's like, you guys, this whole thing has been about exposing the corruption. <sighs> Yeah, it's what they're trying to expose to you. And it's just like, put a blind eye. I'm so awake, but don't look at that. But you guys are stupid. Look, I'm just looking at this thing over here, but don't look at that. You guys are so stupid. You don't even see what I'm seeing. It's like, maybe you should just turn your little eyes over a little bit further. Maybe you should listen to somebody else. Like, like I said, you know, I saw the cheating scandal bullshit in um, 16. What, what happened with Bernie? That was a huge eye opener. So I don't know, even where these, you know, conservatives start saying these liberals are so stupid, they don't even really understand there's cheating. It's like, some of us do. Some of us, that's what turned us against the whole thing. It was like, it was bullshit. So I mean, and then you had uh, old HRC is going out and she can't even fucking fill a school gymnasium with fucking PTA members. They probably paid the staff to stay for a meeting. And she came in to talk to look like they had a crowd. And then you go to try and see Bernie. And it was, I mean, he was filling stadiums, stadiums. And then there was still a huge crowd outside that could fill the stadium again. He would go out and speak to all the people outside and speak to the people inside. And he was very motivational. He really gave you like this, motivation like we can change things we can do things we can and he was giving freedom but we didn't understand the socialized programming that was really being played or sold to us but it was all about this like getting rid of the the control getting rid of all these like laws about like weed about the um uh, money and the school loans and about uh, things should be free we shouldn't have to pay for medical and all that stuff. But, you know, I mean, the people who are in control that go to that meeting that have got all the escorts busy, they um, they have the underhanded way of coming in. Oh, yeah, we're going to do this for you. We're going to do this for you. And then it just backfires because it was never for you. It was all a trick. It's a snake oil salesman maneuver that they make to get us to buy on to what they're selling. And they're really just selling us a bunch of bullshit and lies. So the, um, a bit, so, so many of us, like, uh, we saw it on like, there was people who were so TDS that they were, there's no way they were going to vote for that guy. They were still going to, you know, take HRC. They were just very disappointed, very disappointed. You know, this other guy could win. Why are you putting her and so it was a lot <clears throat> going on on our side of the aisle during that time. And especially there was all this pressure because the media was selling so hard. You know, old Donald, he's just going to go out in the city and start shooting guns because he can do whatever the fuck he wants. And nobody gives a shit. He can grab pussies and do whatever the fuck he wants. And so you have all of us over there that we're all about human rights oh my god and it's all you know now it's a big this me too movement where they got so into you know and that look at how that that was the splintering you know that was the get people to talk about what's really going on because then it it became divisive you know well it's you it's you it's you it's you and it started interfering in the whole dating and relationships it is all this splintering apart. It's all this realization, you know, oh my God, my husband's a fucking narcissist. You know? and, and everybody, you know, I mean, the thing is, is like all these women waking up, oh my God, my husband's a narcissist. It's like, dude, but you are, have got a, a problem. You're the other player. You, you have got, and that's why it is so pointless. Like where you start going through, well, break up all this relationship. It's like, cause you, as the player, the the play the role you're playing you still go out and find another player so you can keep playing your role 
So you don't, you got to go and heal between the relationships. So you don't continue playing the same game because you, you'll just stay in the same game. You'll pull in another narcissist, another person that lies to you, that doesn't care about you, whatever it is. You'll pull in another one of them and it will feel comfortable. It'll feel right because that is where you are in toxic patterning. And so you are comfortable being around people who are bad for you. And so you will pull in another person who's bad for you. And that develops in these patterns, but also it feels like very defeatist to the person because they feel like they're just not good enough. You know, everybody else has got it better. They, um, they can't ever find a good one. Uh, it's hopeless. It's their parents' fault. Like, it's a whole fucking thing. And, but really, it's like, yeah, everybody's fucked up. And when you are having a problem in a relationship, and I'm not saying in, in, in any relationship, you got to run in and fix it. That will fix it. Because that is, um, your relationships are there to teach you and show you. So sometimes you're not meant to fix it. You're meant to fix you. It's up to the two people. Like you can't desperately be hanging on to something that's falling apart. As that becomes toxic to you too. So you have to be in the, wherever the relationship is going. You know, it's a part of you and it's a part of them and it's a part of your lessons. And there's a lot of that just falls away. And then you're sat with the lesson. And a lot of times, you know, you just bounce back into another one and try and solve your problems, but you just create more. And so it's, it's more beneficial to take the time in between and use it as reflection to understand yourself and heal the parts of yourself that you find is toxic. We get so focused on when relationships break up, it's that person's fault, it's that person's fault. Oh, you know, that was just the worst. They were so narcissistic. Oh my God, my life was so hard. You know, that's what everybody gets all into. And it is when you go in and you start looking at your parts that you play, that's when you can fix them to see you know, like you're trying to do things to please them and then you're expecting something back. Well, that was not a written out thing. We didn't, we didn't agree on that. That's something you created for yourself. And so you will create scenarios that will disappoint you, you know, overreact. You will, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, magical thinking, you know, like, well, they should have read my mind. They should have known how I felt. You know, why should I have to say it? They should just understand me. You know, there's a lot of just uh, childish thinking. You know, as a, like a, a why is this a big part of our movement now? This evolution is a maturing, emotional maturity, growing up, being more, uh, you know, I mean, because it is a lot more harder to be real and to be assertive and to set boundaries. It's a lot more grown up, you know, it's no more of that, you know, uh, shut up poopy pants and slam your door and stuff. It's more of talking about how you feel like that makes me feel bad and I don't want to participate. I, you know, I'm trying to feel good and it's so weird because you can take that like in the spiritual teachings, but you don't want to, you got to figure it out for yourself, honestly. All I can tell you is that the things that are there for you, the things that come are there to teach you. So you want to get your lessons. Everything is about to help you. Even though people get so much more comfortable thinking that they're helping everybody else. Oh, I know what's wrong with you. I know what's wrong with you. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> I can see a lot of stuff. I can see a lot of stuff. I can see things that people don't see in themselves. But I can't go around telling everybody what's wrong with them. I try and lead them in a direction to make them feel more better or something. To me, the whole theory in life is make people feel better. Like this thing of beating your kids down and whipping them and, you know, making them feel like shit about themselves and send them out in the world. Get your ass out of here. It's like, well, what in the world do we think is the world going to become when everybody's doing that? Uh, you know, we got to set people out that are thriving and feel good and, creative and productive and ready to go out and create solutions and meet people and shake things up. You know, we're here to make a new world. We're here to create something beautiful. 
And, you know, it's been very difficult because every time that we would, anything we would try and do, it would always be the rug pulled out from under us. But they pulled the rug out, you know, too many times. It's too dark and the light is taking over. So it's the end of that, you know, and it's the beginning of this other. So it's, uh, you know, it's you starting over and you got to figure out, you got to look at things more deeper and, 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 uh, and improving your relationships. And just like I was talking about yesterday with the forgiveness, it's not about them. It's about you becoming a forgiving, loving person. And if you don't want to be, that's fine. You know, but all this talk about three dimensional, four dimensional, all that stuff that just keeps you in that energy. It's like you stay in that game because I don't think that when you leave the game that you are in it, like this is the, you don't stay in here. Like you go to a higher, a higher uh, vibration, much higher. So you would, but, but the thing is, is you're trying to learn to expand and advance. So it still keeps you at your vibration. And so it's like no advancement. And then if you go back into the game, you got to go back into where you were. Like, it's, uh, I don't know. Because it's not like anybody, it's not like you do anything wrong. But, and I don't even know. You know, there could be people who we look at as like, uh, you know, they just look at things so backward and then they get over to their life review and that they've come so far. They're so excited. Like, and we keep thinking like, oh man, I get to their life review. They're going to see like they failed. And, and then they get over there and it's like, they're so, uh, they've done so well. It's like, you don't know because you don't know what anybody's here working on or what anybody's here to learn. We don't know everybody's uh, detailed soul journey. We can't just walk up and we have like uh, an understanding of somebody's DNA uh, print and what their whole life journey and stuff is about. So it's, it's, I don't know. It's like, we've got to not be as caught up on that kind of stuff and not worry about it. Oh yeah. Another thing too in Portland, I don't know if I already said this too, these giant trees like gar trees. And right now we're in this, like everything is frozen again. So they've got all this heavy snow and then, um, and it's supposed to start raining today. It still hasn't started raining because I said that yesterday. It still hasn't started raining yet, but we have like a whole week of rain coming and I don't know what the temperatures, but in Portland, they've got the trees are so ice, giant ass trees like this are just tipping over, pulling the roots right up. Just like how my root system is up like that. So just pulling them right up out of the ground and just tipping over, falling on people's houses. It's fucking, Oregon is a huge disaster, huge disaster. Like, fuck, man, and how much footage I have seen. And it is, um, it's a mess. And uh, so, and I, you know, I don't know what's going to happen over here. It's like, we're just getting started. Oh yeah, and, and some of these, as states do, like these congressmen or whatever, they're passing these absurd laws. And I think it's to expose the different congressmen or what those different towns will do and stuff. Because like this one is just passed, like I don't know if it's Kentucky, Tennessee or something like that, that now you can marry your first cousin or something. It's like they're doing this stuff to push, uh, to get people to be like, What? Or uh, to expose things like you, that's why you got to look at all this stuff. It's not real. It's not really happening. Like all the judicial and stuff is going down. And that is, I think, because now old Joe has taken, he has given a 24 hour notice to Texas. <laughs> See, this stuff is so absurd. It's so absurd when you know, like when you know it's not really Joe. You know, it's all a big show. You know that they're going to be doing all this absurd shit to get people's attention. It's like a big, you know, showdown. And, you know, because he's a Manchurian candidate, he has no real power over the military. Military has already said either they've already made their choice in who's the commander. And so uh, he doesn't have a... Uh, 
He doesn't have a backing. He, that's why they've been loading all these uh, the terrorists uh, from all the, the criminals from all these different countries. And that's why they're in the news all this time. Like, fuck, how many different ones have you heard of now? Like, oh, there's just one after another. Now we've heard of HAMAS. Now what's the new one that they're talking about that's going on over there by um, YEMEN? Uh, this whole other organization, like, there's just one after another. It's always the CIA created bullshit, you know? Like, they had to have the bad guys to deal with to sell them drugs or arms or whatever. It's all this corruption. It's all about resources. It's all about land. It's all about control. And, um, and then you always have bad people who will do anything for a dollar. And then you have so much, uh... What is that? It always like induce. It always it really brought it home to me with this coercion, like the coercion that goes on with the gangsters and stuff. And how they send them out, you know, to these businesses, and you will pay to be protected, but you're paying to protect yourself from them and stuff. It's just all that the corruption that goes on and the control, and that it's always been like that. In all the different towns. And that's why they get the people in power. You know, like the brothers, the preacher of the town. And he's also the banker. You know, the guy with all the money. He's the mayor. And then people are like, oh, well, they're such a good family. They've got this, you know, the preacher. And it's like, that's a cover. It's a big cover. The church is a cover. It's all a cover. It's not real. It's a beard. It's like a... You know, all we got to do is carry around a Bible and everybody believes we're a Christian. It's like, yeah, but you go around, you know, what's in the Bible? They open it up, there's a gun. <laughs> you know, it's all, it's all a trick. And then people just like, oh, well, he's got a Bible. He's got a suit on. He's got a nice smile. That's what politicians have used the whole fucking time. They wear a suit and they have a nice smile. So they must be upstanding. It's like, well, got to set your standards a little higher, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what a fucking joke, too. You got a guy who's been dead for a couple of years. You got some guy out here pretending to be him running around, running the world, running the country. Yeah, I'm ruining the world. Uh, but it is, um, I mean, it's absurd. And that's the kind of stuff, like, in this awakening. Like, that part is not going to just go away. These people who have not seen that will have to see that. And how would you feel? When you're sitting here, you know, being ran by somebody who's a puppet, it's not even real. It's not even the real person. And I try, you try and tell people, like, that's not the real person. I told my mom so many times, and she'll still get all mad. It's like, Mom, that is not the real person. They're doing it to make you mad. Yeah, I know, but, you know, it's like, okay. I don't think you're really getting what I'm saying. And, uh... But that's what I'm saying. There's so many people have all this so much to wake up to. And it isn't like... It's like this clicking in of your mind. It's like this clicking in. And, and that is like a, the lights going on. It's like this, this stuff keeps happening, but you keep trying to rationalize and try to make sense of it. It's uh, confusing, but then, it, you know, it just a uh, click in and it's like, aha, uh -huh, uh -huh. oh, oh, it's like an aha moment. And in that aha moment, there's going to be a rush it will be like a tsunami of energy, a rush of energy that will hit into the people. To see, they'll they'll see themselves. They'll suddenly see themselves, you know, like a, a near death experience when you have a life review, and all of a sudden you see yourself, and and they're gonna feel huge disappointment in themselves because all of a sudden with that new awareness, they're gonna see so much more. Now, I think that is gonna happen. Like I think it's gonna happen really soon. It could happen today. If we have this 24-hour thing, got these other people who want to fight. I mean, we got so many fights going on, it's like absurd. It's like one of them's got to be like something's got to go. And But all of the different things have been to create the tension, to bring the awake, bring the awareness, bring people's attention, bring people to alert. And so keep pulling and pulling and pulling. Like all this stuff with Hunter. <laughs> It's like it's so absurd. And now they keep having this fella, you know, who's playing him out 
you know, talking. He just keeps being releases of all these weird videos he would make. He's always videotaping. He's always in, you know, but any drug addict, any, if you've been around any drug addicts ever, they're always in that crisis. They're always in the drama, you know, in his whole life. And then, of course, you know, he's an abused kid who grew up, became a druggie. So he just follows that typical pattern. He's probably borderline personality. Like probably everybody in Joe's family is. They probably corrupted all these kids' minds and made them not understand life on a a normal scope. Um, you know, these, some of these families are so warped. So many people are coming out of these families and talking about what they've gone through and stuff. And just like I was talking about that hunting the other day, uh, the hunting the kids and stuff like that. Right after that, I saw some, one of those people, you know, that were in a part of that talking, telling a video about the whole thing. And it was, um, I watched the whole video and it was, um, because it was like they put out kids or adults, they'll put a whole, whole bunch, they've got them all in cages and stuff, then they will release them. And it will be like in the night and they are told to run and to hide. And the, they, the kids don't know anything that's going on. If they get caught, they get, um, you know, uh, assaulted with whatever parts of somebody, you know, whatever somebody wants to do. It's part of the game. And then sometimes they just go ahead and do them in. And sometimes they just eat them. It's, like it's just a, a free for all. Just do whatever you want to do. Whatever. Go in the moment. Just do what, do what you feel is, is a good thing. And then, and then do what the adults do. Like, it's not just kids, but I guess I think that they like to really, because they do these weird rituals and stuff, and then they get the, these certain kids to have to do in these other kids. That's a big part of it. Like, there's a lot of really creepy shit. And, uh, you know, and those kids have got a lot of healing to do, man. You've been forced to do someone in and then they say you know a lot of times it's like a relief because you know you're taking away someone's pain but the so you know all that stuff that um it just keeps being leaked out and leaked out and leaked out there's so much more like i see so many more videos with tunnel stuff like everything is just building 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 but so i think that this show, whatever Joe is going to do, because they've already got so many people. Like, I have been seeing trees and trees and trees and trees. Like, people have got some serious fucking crimes. Even though it has not been labeled, but you just, if you know what the crimes are and you're watching, you see. And I, and I have seen where the news has said some stuff and where people have shared it. But there is huge crimes happening right in front of us, but you got, like, you got to know the rules, the rules that they're breaking and stuff, and, um, and then there's just so much stuff about the, the shenanigans in order to make the rules, like, this is all so fucking, it's all such nonsense, like, it's, it's so absurd, it's so absurd that they got all these huge mass of people to just go along with whatever they say and tell us that that's the only way to live, like, it's really kind of creepy. You'd have to have a whole uh, sleeping society. So, but, you know, but the society was going, it's like it's part of the game. The game was always going to go all through this. It's not like you knew the first part, so you went into this incarnation. And you didn't know this part. No, it's for the whole thing. So you went in sleeping. You went in believing. And throughout, you had different things that triggered inside of you to question different things that made you make choices, make decisions. And so all of those are part of it. And then you get to this part of the awakening where you see the truth and then you turn, you make decisions for yourself and you turn things in a different direction as you no longer live, you know, trying to just on a hamster wheel, getting nowhere, trying to control things you have no control over. You start learning how to, live productively and you know and what we're really here doing is learning so you start being more productive in your learning and you stop being so judgmental on yourself and so hard on yourself and hard on other people and you start just 
relaxing more. And the more that you learn to love yourself, the more you get yourself on a positive timeline. You get yourself out of that junket of lessons where you just have all these toxic people that come into your life to keep teaching you to love yourself. And, uh, you know, but you gotta, it's a big part of recognizing the part you play, your pattern, what you do, and realize that you're just as toxic to all these people as they are to you. You think that they're so toxic to you, but that is your perception. That is your reality. And that's what they're there to teach you stuff. But this, In the same sense, you're as toxic to them because of what they've gone through and the things that they've experienced. So what you do to them is just as toxic as what they do to you. It's like the same level. It's the same vibration. That's why you pull these people in towards you. It's your vibration and then they teach you these lessons. And then you can stay, just keep on bouncing through like I did for decades. Or you can step out and then you can start seeing and you start recognizing the patterns. You recognize like your toxic behavior. And the biggest thing to me is being able to see you can make changes. Like where everybody thinks like they just have all these bad relationships. But you can change it by changing yourself. By changing how you look at things, your attitude, your behaviors, catching your own toxic behaviors, being aware of them so that you don't just continue them. Even if you catch yourself doing something, a typical you know, reactive behavior, you still have the awareness to catch yourself. So it's still a movement forward in your progression of learning. So it's not, uh, it's not negative. You're just learning all the time, but then you're hypercritical of your learning technique. But it is a slow process. It's a development. In order to learn something, it really becomes a part of you. When you develop it, 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 it becomes, it's like a lesson you go through. And then it becomes something that becomes imprinted into you. You understand it. It gives you your view of life. It's like, you know, how people... Um, you know, no, even in a society where they keep telling you you're racist, you know, you're not because you know what's on in the inside of you. You know how you feel about other people. So they can't trick you. They can't make you, no matter how much they keep saying stuff and getting people to divide and getting people to, to fight over shit. You, you know, in your own heart, how you feel about other people. So that is, you've got to keep going into you. To understand you and don't just go along with their story of what it is they're trying to control because they're trying to just create and control this i don't know it's like a, a prison is a micro macro prison school their world it's all like this micro macro it's like that's it's this institutionalized living it's very controlled and then they're trying to tell us that they're selling us on freedom and democracy and stuff no you're selling us on control. And I've seen so much more now about MLK. Like, you know, and he was a, he was a bad guy too. Oh, <laughs> it's just so wild how they're always selling us these bad guys. Is the, the, they're the good guy. It's like, but, you know, in the uh, awakening, you have to see the truth. And, and, you know, and then all those different things, you know, I guess people who were just worshiping him and it was very surface and they didn't ever know. And I don't even know how so much of the, the hit, the stuff is hidden and now it's all coming out. But I think that is a part of what Assange was trying to show too. It was trying to show things that were hidden and bring it out. And that's why they were like, hell to the no, <laughs> prison you. <laughs> Snowden do. He was trying to get us to see see things that they were spying on us and so all these uh you know these people trying to show us and but they keep this show going but it kind of like they got to keep this show going on the politics government thing until joe is out once this all plays out so they got to um you know have this drama of joe going out and then i don't know they're gonna you know get Get, I don't I don't know how they get these people to stop being so dependent on someone to be in charge of them you know needing this governing you know and maybe some cities will just be like a patriot city and they've just got a whole bunch of governing people and they just all are being in charge of each other or something I don't know it wouldn't keep working 
Because this is about freedom. It's about the rule book is inside of you. We've all got the same rule book inside of us. We all know not to hurt people, not to kill people. Not It's inside of you. It depends on how much people can cut that side of themselves off, though. And, uh, you know, and when you are ingrained and indoctrinated and programmed for your whole life, then there's nothing, you know, there's nothing after this and nothing matters and you're here to enjoy and, you know, live it up, do drugs, have a lot of sex, you know, but inside of you, if you are connected to that God particle, then you know, like all those things turn corrupted when you're feeding the beast, then where does it stop? The beast is, it's like the beast gets bigger and bigger. You've got to learn to control your impulses you know, have control over yourself. That's an, that's an adult. Somebody who doesn't have control is a child and somebody who has control is an adult. And see, that is what we're doing here in the development. We're not coming here to age. We're coming here to develop. So I really, I'm really stuck on this thing about this aging. And I don't, you know, maybe I sound really wacky to people or something at this point. I don't know. It really freaks me out. I'll, there's all these people with gray hair who aren't like, oh my God, I have a, I have a, a metal defi I have some kind of deficiency. That's what my hair is like. I'm it's sucking the life out of me. And if I go and I start taking this mineral, then all of a sudden I go back to being younger again. It's like, it, it, man, I, I, it's weird. It's weird that people are just like, it's like, I, I think everybody should just be trying it just for themselves, just to see. Like, it, you know, why, why do you need to see scientific studies? It's like, just drink your water and eat your vitamins and see what happens. And then plus, though, I think you got to heal. Like, people got to heal. And, you know, there's a lot of older people who don't heal. So, I don't know. I think we're going to go in that direction, though. We're going to go in a different direction on this stuff. But I really think I'm onto something. And I don't think, you know, it wasn't like I was trying to figure it out. It all just happened by accident. And those, like, you know, accidents that happen, I think are there to show us so that we stop and think about things. And so, I, you know, I, I, this last part, I feel like, is the most stubborn. But I can still see so much of the, um, how much just to get darker it is all the time. So the, um, I don't know, you know, I don't really know how long it's going to take before it's all the way turned. But anyways, that's the progress. And then I don't know on my skin, if you can see, like, I don't think it's as, um, <clears throat> it's dramatic. I like, I don't think all your wrinkles go away. I think you still have some lines on your face, but I think that's like, I don't think that that is aging. I, I think that when people's faces become weathered and pain and, you know, that is holding in pain. It's holding in their suffering. But just getting lines on your face, I think that is just like weathering. Like you're, you're, you kind of weather. I don't know. Maybe when we go in the med beds, you know, we're all going to look like we're 20. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, whatever it is. So, and I want to try more minerals. I really want to get this selenium. And I'm really curious of what other ones I could be. And could it make your skin go all the way back to being 20 years old by taking in the right minerals and stuff? And does collagen have anything to do with it? A lot of people take collagen. I don't know, you know. I don't live in their mirror, so I don't know what their skin, if it makes a big difference. So, I don't know. Hold on. <coughs> oh, man. I can feel it. <coughs> this moving through my chest. <coughs> I, I think every time, whenever I drink that tea in the morning... Cause it always has that mullein in it and it always, um, 
makes me start coughing. But anyways, so uh, that's the hair thing. I don't know about the skin thing, but I want to try more minerals. I really think that this aging thing is bullshit. I think that they lied about if you could die, and I think they lie about aging. But I think it's the same thing. People cut off from themselves who participate, but they just go and, you know. And then it's that same thing of trying to buy, you know, that carrot. Oh, well, you know, my gray hair looks good. So, like, I may be dying, but I look good doing it. It's like, well, I don't, I, I, I don't know. <sighs> because uh, it's just weird because it's in the shift. And so it's different things that you think about different parts of it. Because, yeah, in the age of Aquarius, you know, we're going to be healthy and we're not going to be dying and stuff. But we're transitioning from this aging, getting older, decrepit, falling apart, diseased. We're changing from that. So we're in the, the bridging of it. So it's like you have different attitudes about different things. So and to me, uh, you know, uh, it's like you look at something one way, but then you start seeing it more. It changes, I'm like, confirmation. It changes how you look at it. So it's like this, um, but I think everything is about this, this um, influx of change. This ability to be able to look at things differently, look at things in bigger perspectives and see things more clearly and see things more clearly for yourself because that's the biggest thing. It's not like we're meant to see things more clearly for everybody else. We're meant to see things more clearly for yourself. It's just everybody's focused on everybody else. Everybody's like, oh, you're not waking up. Oh, you don't think right. Oh, you don't do this right. It is... um you know, just a lot of judgment and stuff. But that's the part where people have got to see that inside themselves. And I, I, I mean, I think there's going to be so much drama when the lights come on for each person to see these parts of themselves, to see these judgmental parts of themselves, these hateful parts of themselves, these um, gullible parts of themselves. Like All those different things are going to be hard for anybody to face they're going to see them as weakness they're going to see themselves as not being good enough and strong enough and that's part of the programming you're trying to break so it's going to be really highlighted but you got to break through break through that break through that judgment of yourself and realize that you know how you're not meant to know everything you're meant to learn it you're here learning this isn't like you're supposed to know everything the things you um it's like the information is taken away from you so you don't know this stuff so you can learn. So, you, you know, you don't realize, you don't remember your eternal so you can go through and learn what it is to fear and learn what it is to... There's a lot of... There's so many lessons. Like, fuck. So many lessons going on for so many different people. So, it's like an endless supply of lessons. So it's like you got to just look internally for what it is you're learning, what it is you're trying to understand about yourself, what it is you're going through, what are the people around you going through, what is the expectation, what is expectation are you putting on yourself, and what expectation are you putting on others? Are you trying to get others to come in and solve your problems? You know, because that's a big one, and I think it's important for everybody to learn to solve their own stuff because then you you're you're the champion. You're the winner. It's nobody else's win, it's your win. And that's how you start learning that what you're really made of. That you're really, you know, sensational. You're not this horrible deficit creature that they've tried to make you feel that you are. Like something's wrong with you, something's broken with you. And that you're not you're not good enough because you don't fit into their created society of enslavement and uh, control and the, um, the compliancy. You know, you got to do what you're told. Do what you're told. Don't question things. Don't think for yourself. And then they train people to just do what they're told, to not question things. 
So then you're, even if you yourself questions things, then all the rest of the people around you who don't just want you to shut the fuck up. Don't talk about that. I got other things going on. I'm, I'm trying to hurry. Quit talk, talking about things that I don't want to think about. It creates more division. And then they even get it, you know, they've even got politicians out right now. You know, do you know somebody who talks bad about the government? Because we really need to find these people. Oh my God. And there's probably people who are calling that 1 800 number. <laughs> oh, my neighbor. Like that one that I knew, he called on me. He said he went and turned me in because I had tattoos. So it must be bad. This other person I met, I went over to their house and I had tattoos. So I, they wanted me to come back over, but they wanted to do a, a exorcism on me. <laughs> Because I had all these demons on me because I've got all these tattoos. So I've got a lot of demons. It's like, people are just like fucking wacky, man. It's just so wacky. I don't know what they're attached to. I don't know what information feeds them. But I don't know. Raise the bar. <laughs> Look at things in a broader perspective. Look outside the box. Don't just look at the information they give you. Everything to me is in the inside. And it's stuff I knew when I was a little kid. I, and then I see people trying to struggle with it now. Adults. It's like, you just got connected to the inside. I didn't have anybody telling me any of this shit. I had something inside of me talking to me, telling me this stuff. Telling me what the world was. Telling me what I was doing here. So, you, you, you know, everybody's got it. You've got to access it. You got to learn to access it. You got to learn to find you in all the noise. And you'll find if you start going internally, you're going to find there is a lot of noise. You got to learn how to uh, go through it. And you do, you go through it by figuring out what is the energy. What is the energy? What is the, when it, when you got this, this messaging coming in, what is the energy? You know, what does it make you feel? How, how, and, and then plus, they can be tricky. They can be super tricky. So you got to think like, well, how does this benefit? Does this benefit other people? Is it just for me? Is it, what is it just make me look good and hurts other people? Like go through it. Because a lot of times they'll you know, get you all beefed up on doing something that is good for you, but hurts other people. And that is what they're good at. They're good at just creating uh, toxic situations, ego, maniac, bullshit, like, uh, but the, the ones, your guides and stuff, the ones that I always say are more quiet, the ones that are more whispery, that, you know, mine aren't so whispery, but it's like, because we got like a big open communication going all the time, but when you're trying to find them, it's going to be the more quieter, it's like the, the quiet one in the room, It'll be the smart one, the ones that are all loud and stuff. They're trying to get attention. So it's the quiet one in the room. So when you're going through your head, and you could even go through your head. It, it, you know, you can use visuals, you know, see yourself as a player in a game going through and all of the battle of a, the dark energy to get through to the back of the room. And the back of the room is where your intelligence lies. But you got to battle the dark to get to the light. And your intelligence lies back there. It's the quiet voice that is in the rear of the room. And when you go in and talk, you will see it's a very different energy. It's calming. It's peaceful. It's, it's like, you know, going and talking to some kind of guru or something. And it's like, it points things out. It shows you things. It gets you to see things. And it does it in these like, I don't know, proverbs and little moral stories and and things. It's like, I don't know. You know, there's a big difference to me. And, um, and then you have also, you know, guides and stuff. So you have your higher self. And, you know, and it's not going to sit here and scream and yell at you uh, to try and get your attention. 
all the noise, it, it just still sit there patiently waiting. Like if you've got problems with patience, your higher self doesn't. <laughs> Believe you me. <laughs> and so, and your guides, they're more of the cheerleaders. They're more like cheering you on. And then when you're tapped into that, uh, that universal communication, you'll just pick up on other things. You'll just pick up on other messages. You'll see other things. There's a lot of communication that's always going on. And then, you know, if you're on social media, you'll see other people talking about things that you just picked up on. And it's like, oh, see, this is real. Like, there's communication happening. But then again, you've got to be aware because there's a lot of people in communication with, I don't know if that is a real thing about these um, these police that are policing us in this area and that, that a lot of people are communicating with them and think they're talking to archangels and shit like that makes sense to me when i heard all that uh as i always thought that was so strange how these people are like always name dropping channeling it's like what do you, what do you got like what is the deal and like, why you gotta go and say oh you know who i'm channeling oh you know who well archangel michael said it's like okay like I don't know. Like, I, this is absurd to me. It's like, anybody can say a name. Just like anybody can carry a Bible around. I said that whole thing of how there is tricksters. How there is shapeshifters. It's easy. It's like, you gotta go deeper. You gotta look at stuff deeper. You gotta see past it. That's how you don't get tricked. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting tricked all the fucking time. Who knows? But... Um, you know, for some reason I know <laughs> some of this stuff, I, I, you gotta, you gotta be aware that there's ones out there trying to trick you and they, they trick, they trick people who look at themselves as very psychic and stuff. No, you know, you know, not one girl, this is, this is just always where I just think this is so strange. Like people just don't like, I'm um, reading their tarot cards and pulling out their Bible to talk about what it was like. I, it's like I'm. Uh, these people are just trying to cover all their bases. I mean, I, it's it's strange. Uh, spiritual isn't religion. Spiritual is your journey. Spiritual is you figuring out who you are and what you're doing here. And you know what? But to me, in that journey, there's a lot of crossover where it's like, oh, see, this is real. This is what's happening for all these other people, not just me. And so. You know, I know in my heart and soul, the spiritual world is real. That's our real life. That's our real world. I know this isn't real. I know this is um, challenges. These are obstacles. And that I think that there is such a specialness, such a gift into life that so many people are ignoring that gift. And I think that that is a reason why a lot of bad stuff happens and is to get people to understand, you know, death and stuff, loss. It really teaches you the value of what you have. And, um, you know, there's just, there's so many challenges and everybody's got their own challenges. Everybody's got their own stuff. All I can say is just keep looking bigger, bigger, bigger. Look outside of the box. Try and understand because they've given you very limited tool, very limited view of things. And it's way bigger and way broader. And, um, you know, and I think, I hope that this, you know, next 24 hours or I don't know how far we're into this 24 hours. Maybe today is the, the night was the 12 hours and then there'll be 12 hours today. And so I don't know. I don't know what Joe's going to try and spark off, but whatever it is, it's all part of the show. And so I hope it's going to be that it's exposed, that he has no control. This is just a big expose over who's the commander in chief and who's got control over what parts. There's going to be a drama. You know, it's not going to be. Uh, you know, just a big dud where we have to get up and read in the paper to see. No, it's going to be right in everybody's face. It's going to be a big drama. It's going to happen. And that is going to be the big light coming on, awakening, where people are going to just be like, oh, but there's so much happening, like with the storms and uh, 
I mean, there's just so much. It's just, it's just so much like, so, and most of us, we are in our own storms, you know, like, fuck my, my, I feel like I'm in an igloo or something. So, uh, and it's so fucking cold still. It's like fucking weeks and it's just cold, cold, cold where you can't get warm. And so, you know, we're all going through stuff and, you know, I mean, there's people dying, there's people giving up, there's people who are, it's just like so much and uh, it's going, oh, you know, you got these people who are just, are so ready to fight Like you got a huge group of people. I mean, they're probably driving their cars presently to Texas to get in on this fight. Like they're probably hoping for shoot out at an okay corral and that weird too. They would be back in Texas for that. But I guess the border, yeah, because the border is always going to be where the friction lies. It's, it's just, it's all a big show. Because why would these people just be coming in if you thought, like, the army's going to stand there and shoot you when you come in? It's like, I don't think that, I, I don't know. I, I just know this is a big show. It's all a big show. It's all, you know, and it's absurd. Joe's giving 24. I'll tell you what's going to happen. It's not even fucking Joe. That one guy who did that breakdown that was Jim Carrey's probably like it was pretty like the way he moves and stuff. And I had already heard the people all saying that about all the falls. They're like, there's the only actor who could be doing that is Jim. And so I already had tons of people that were saying that, but I had never seen one do a breakdown like that where how he moves, like his timing of movements is so like, I was like, oh my gosh, that was, that was interesting. Like I had I had never had seen that before, but I think, you know, there's several Joes. I don't think they just got one person playing. I think there's several, and I think that is to also add into the, just like, what the hell is up with this wackadoo guy? One day he's like this, one day he's like that. One day he can talk, one day he can't talk. You know, he's just all over the place. I think that's part of the awakening. Part of the, you know, look, people, wake up, catch on, pay attention. This weird shit happening. Oh, and I'll see this one before I go. Because I've seen two of these now. One of them, I think, was like Tennessee or something. And she came home from work. And she was like, somebody explain this to me. And so she was out showing these footprints in her yard and goes over to her neighbor's yard. And it's creepy as shit. Like it's as big as her foot. So it's a big footprint. But it is, it's like talons. It's like this, it's like this foot with just these two talon things. And it's very distinct. Like, I mean, somebody would have to make some kind of thing and go around and press it in. Um, but then she shows a part. It was like, explain this part. Because there's four of them. And they kind of like, like if you were standing there, turn. And then you turned again. And then they just disappear. <laughs> they don't walk away. She said, the only way they would have had to jump over my house to get over to the other part. So, could somebody please tell me what the hell this is? So, you got that one. It's creepy as shit. Then another one a couple hours later of another guy on another farm somewhere. And he goes outside and his are huge. They're huge. And they're like round. Some other kind of creature. I don't even know. Some uh, weird, you know, not, not footprints that we have here. And huge ones. And the same thing walking out all through the snow. You know, and I'm not the only one who found that naked footprint on their porch. Like, there's things that are going around. There's things walking around. And you got to remember, they're dimensional. They move in and out of dimensions. And not everybody needs to, you know, have one of those, like, portals. Yeah, I, and, and what is that show? There's a lot of shows that they've shown how to, oh, these portals opening. It's like, you throw a ring up and a door opens. And so, you know, and some of them may travel around like that. Like, I think that they have more of an ability to just move through dimensions. Like, people think, like, everything is, like, far apart or something. No, there's fucking cities up in the sky and stuff. 
There's realms and realities and stuff everywhere. It's not at all like what we think it is. And that's where everything is going to go. It's like lights out and then it's going to come back at some point in this more magical world. But I don't know. That's supposed to be like the solar flash. Yeah, the solar flash that the lights go out and then when it comes back on, the, there's like a new stage that started. Like we're going to see colors different. The land will look different. Now, but the land is changing right now. The landscapes are in the process of changing. So everything is in the movement of change. It's all occurring. But I still think that the weather is not. I think the, the they're creating all of this stuff. I mean, it's so extreme. It's like they're fucking creating some kind of goddamn ice age or something. So I think that that is all created. And then when this pole shift, like when everybody all of a sudden sees and whatever happens, whatever, you know, thing comes on to bring the lights on and people see and that energy, I think that's the energy that starts the solar flash, but it is, um, all, all this stuff is the energy of change. All this is moving us through change and people have just got to get more into the idea of like, it's kind of like we're going it's kind of like we're moving out of this concept of being flesh and blood and real and moving into this concept of being your spirit body, your spirit. You get more into that. And it's like the whole spiritual world, this spiritual realm, everything changes. And so, and but you know, right now it's like we're, we're metamorphosizing. It's like change is occurring. But when everybody starts changing, that is when it's going to really pick up. That's when really things are going to really start moving. Right now, it's still in this turning. Everything is turning. And then even after it starts turning, there still is going to be a lot of healing because of how people are so cut off from their soul. And they've got to go back into that, like the pain, the pain of ignoring your soul. <laughs> That's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot of people. And then a lot of people are going to get so excited about the connection and to start living life because it's such a better way of living. The way people were living was so toxic and defeated and so much better to live. Like when you got a team that you're talking to and they're telling you things and explaining things to you, helping you through life. When you're going through a crisis and you know you're not alone and you know that it's there for you to learn from and you got these beings that are there telling you and helping you and teaching you, it's like, yeah, life t changes. People don't feel like people feel so alone and so defeated and so stupid and so embarrassed and hate themselves and, you know, and your team is sitting there, you know, they can't, they can't force you. It's your, it's your evolution. It's you to decide. It's you to determine. They're just there for you. So when things are going good, you know, they'll be cheering you along. And when things are going bad, they're there for you to, you know, when you go into reflection, it's like they gather around you, you know, you feel the warmth of your team and then they, um, there's a lot of communication, you know, there's a lot of talking and you can have words coming into your head, feelings coming into your head, pictures coming into your head, memories coming into your head, all sorts of stuff. It's like they communicate with you in pictures and stuff like that. And, um, but also though, you can have words, words uh, that come into your head, but it's like, it's, it's just different. It's not like a communication, like where we're sitting here just talking isn't like they're just sitting there talking, even though that you will have some talking. It is, um, I don't know, maybe it's a more higher mind. You it has more abilities to communicate. Maybe it's the dark energy that does more of the talking. And that's why it's so loud. And in order to get to the quiet mind, the higher mind, that you you have to, you know, focus and you have to listen and, and they communicate. It's, it's because there's a lot of pictures. There's a lot of inner knowing. 
there's a lot of like uh, aha moments but it isn't like you're being lectured and stuff but there's definitely word communication too so i don't know and everybody's is different you just gotta keep working on it but i'm just telling you that there's not just one thing in your head communicating with you there's a lot and you gotta recognize it from the energy and some of it feeds off of your ego so it's toxic it'll keep you uh you know thinking you're better than other people it'll keep you divided from people it'll keep you you know in isolation thinking you know it, it's a lot of different things it knows it knows how to feed off of you it knows you it's like it can go inside of you and it, it can read you so it knows how to play games with you so you have to be aware of yourself and you know that's why all these people are like well it's devils and demons no it's not it's that like giving it giving it that devil and demon but as a creative thing gives it way too much power don't give it power like that. Don't give it that power in your mind. You have power over it. You've got to give yourself the power. Quit giving everything else the power. Give yourself the power. Realize you are an eternal being. You have power. And so, anyways, that's that's what I think. So, anyways, I'm going to... It's only been 116, but I probably... I was trying to think of, is there anything else it just is like when i went on tiktok i was like the same kind of stuff like it was just like people dying people sad because someone died people in crisis the, the fucking patriot people are just all up on the you know this caucus who's running now vivek or something they're sure he's gonna be the running mate it's like dude we're not ever gonna fucking we're never gonna get there we're not voting anybody in. It's not happening. We're not going to be under this. Even in the illusion when we go back under Donald. Because he's still the person. When we go back under that. It's going to be all to step down. It's all going to be to let it all fall. It's like he's going to be at the top of letting it all fall. So that it gives the illusion that there's control that you know like the, the world's not too scary you know he he's got control he's got it you know all everything but it was all set up like he set all this up in his eos and stuff like this bankrupting the federal reserve like all that stuff he was doing that's why they didn't want him in there and uh, you know he was telling us stuff the whole time uh you know they they did a lot of corrupt stuff and criminal stuff and uh, messing with the con like there's so much there's just so much it's like to me it's like i don't or so much stuff that just comes and comes and comes it's like at some point it's like i don't i don't really care so much of the stuff i don't need to know all the details it's like there's too much this is like a, 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 a it's all lies everything is fucking lies 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 so it's just so to me it's like okay well, everything's a fucking lie so i'm just not gonna believe all this bullshit you can't get all hung up on it and caught up in it. You gotta just let go of stuff. So, anyways, that's my that's my idea. Um, well, let me think. So, it's just like crisis after crisis. People just locking in further into their beliefs. You know, it's like you got people. I don't know. People believe in you should get revenge. People believe you should not uh, forgive people. Like, I, man, I, I don't know. I don't know where that's leading. Because I know that's a big part of where we're going. <laughs> when people are like, no, it's not what they're going to do. It's like, okay, well, I guess we're not all going to the same place. Well, I know that's true. I know we're not all going to the same place. But hey, some of these people, they could be seeing this stuff. And that's going to be their aha waking moment. And then they see that part of themselves and they have to heal that. I, you know, I was like, we'll just see. We just got to see how it all plays out. And I know, like, a lot of people look around at their family and stuff. I think, you know, are you waking up or this or that? Are you healing? And I think a lot of the people who, I think a lot of people who think they're awake aren't awake. And I think a lot of people who aren't awake have been working on their healing. So I think that there's going to be a lot of shakeup that's going to go on. So we'll we'll see. We'll see. And hopefully it will be this week. I mean, we're already at Thursday. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the time, it's so wild. 
time is moving so weird. Everything is just so weird. You know, and you can feel it all coming. You can feel it all falling apart. So, I don't know. I mean, we're, we're so close to big changes. Just, you know, just stay, I don't, you just gotta stay like hopeful. You know, don't give up. I mean, so many people just give up. Like, you just can't give up. You just gotta keep going and know. And, and then there's just so much more information, you know, with the Kali Yuga, the Year of the Dragon, all this stuff is all the same thing. All this prophecy is all the same thing. We're going into a new time. We're creating a whole new reality. And that is all real. And we get freedom. It's a whole new set of events. And we have actual freedom. And there's going to be abundancy, but abundancy won't have the same meaning to us. We're not going to have the same desires chasing the same thing. We're going to look at what, what we see as riches are going to be different. So... I mean, I, I don't think that we're going to have to worry about like how we're going to pay our next bill. I don't think that people are going to have to worry about that. There's not going to be that kind of energy anymore. But everybody's going to be fulfilled, filled up. You know, your friends, your relationships, everything's going to be become more fulfilling. Whatever job, you know, these jobs that people are losing, they're just jobs. What you want to focus on is skills, which are good at what you can become good at, what you're interested in, what are your desires, what are your creativity, focus on those things, is a job, and then, you know, I know they're doing the shenanigans on the news, like, oh, Oklahoma, they want to raise the, the uh, rate from $7 to 15 for minimum wage, it's like, this is fucking shenanigans, like, we all have already, the, any of us who have already had that happen, they raised it 15 out here, be ready for everything to skyrocket, because that's the game. Yeah, we're going to raise your, we're going to give you more money so that you can get by. Well, and everything fucking skyrockets. Be ready for your houses to be a million dollars, for your food to be hundreds of dollars. Like, it's ridiculous. They just, it, it's, it's all a game. And go back and pay us back to where I was making $1.65 an hour when I first worked. Get us back to that. Get us back to where, you know, $1 is all we need. Not this fucking, you need a hundred dollars just a day to fucking survive. It's like, it's absurd. So, you know, it's just, they, they just jack up the prices on things, jack up the prices on things and they can because they're, they're the corporation that owns every fucking thing because everybody sold out. Everybody was like, hell yeah, corporations running us. Hell yeah. It's like, well, how'd that turn out? So they only care about themselves. They only care about the bottom dollar they don't give a fuck about you and then they fucking go in there insert themselves in your health so anyways we'll just leave you with that <laughs> leave you with that to think about so I'll talk to you in the morning i'll talk to you later stay safe and stay warm and just ride this shit out everything's gonna be okay we just gotta get through it everything's gonna be fine so i'll talk to you tomorrow bye